Welcome back to Dark Corner's Lockdown, a rough guide to streaming horror to distract you from the real horror. The Possession was recommended to us by Starfire One on YouTube. It's available on Netflix, produced by Sam Raimi, and it does very much what it says in the title. Divorced dad, Clyde, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, takes his two daughters out to buy stuff for his new house when younger daughter, Emily, finds a cool-looking wooden box. You don't have to be a horror fan to guess what happens next. <laughs> Emily starts behaving oddly. <laughs> and pretty soon... This is based on a true story. It's a Dibbuk box. To the extent that there is a real Dibbuk box, the owners of which reported strange and terrifying phenomena, some of which are incorporated into the movie. <laughs> Incidentally, the filmmakers were offered the chance to see the real thing. They declined. Although the true story angle is interesting, it's certainly not unique. The exorcism of Emily Rose a few years earlier is another based on a true story. The film's real USP as a drama is basing the events around a recently split up family. Hi. Hey. You're late. And its success as a narrative is largely determined by how well it marries the plotline of children and parents dealing with the new normal with that of the possession. Why, why is the box so important to you? There's no doubt in my mind that director Ole Bornadal and screenwriters Juliet Snowden and Styles White are trying to equate the loss of self in the possession with that dislocation that children can experience during divorce. I don't feel like me. It's also a very useful plot device because Emily's behavior is initially written off as a child of divorce acting out. And there are some difficult scenes which families going through this can identify with. I hate you. Go to your room. For me, the family drama is where the film is at its best. Some of the dialogue between the parents is a little on the nose. Interesting. You know, interesting is Stephanie code for you fell asleep. But the scenes with the children have a real charm. Let's get a dog from the shelter, Dad. Please, let's get a dog. Which gives the horror something to break up. Again, mirroring divorce. My dad doesn't... My dad doesn't like me anymore. But this isn't a family drama. It is a horror film and, like all similar films, the possession walks in a very long shadow. The possession does, I think to its detriment, lean into that comparison. For he will deliver you from the ensnaring trap, from devastating pestilence. Sometimes Emily even looks like Regan. <laughs> And by the time we reach the climax, this is just the Jewish exorcist. Fear, 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 fear. And while it's nice to see a different culture represented, that's not enough to differentiate it. And it's not just the exorcist. This is Possessed Girl 101. You OK? Despite some nice images, there's nothing here you haven't seen before and nothing you won't see coming. Which isn't to say that it's not well made. It is well crafted, well acted, the characters are likeable, but it relies too much on genre cliche to exploit the full potential of the divorce angle, which is really where it ought to stand out. So, a good watch, nothing mind blowing. Thanks for watching. As I said, this was recommended to us. We do read all the recommendations, so please keep sending them and we'll get through as many as we can. See you next time, stay safe.